last week on Crime Story. Welcome to Latin America, Torello. You're getting too much sun, Ray, getting all burnt up. You're starting to look like a prune. <laughs> Let me guess. This is a warrant for my arrest and extradition. David? I'm sure they're in order. There's just one thing. This country's extradition treaty's been suspended. Now get out of here, Torello, before I have Santos to arrest you for trespassing. I'll tell you, what we're going to do is discover the location of his lab, and then we're going to destroy his entire drug operation. Or take his questioning the driver right now. I'm laying odds by tomorrow morning, we'll know where the lab is. And you shouldn't stay here. It's a little dangerous. The deaf Chicago cop is worried about me, huh? Well, yeah, a little bit. That's nice. No one has worried about me for a long time. Thanks. Let's cut him down. This is the most corrupt government on Earth. Lieutenant Torello. Well, come on. A drug dealer escapes prison and his captor winds up dead in this place? Wake up, will you? We will find the killer. No, you won't because you don't want to. You are insubordinate. And you're a thief. Torello. We are in business together, Torello. And risks are part of the game. So that matters now is that we find the location of Lucas' drug lab. I'll try to remember that. Torello damn near puts me out of business, and you call it a setback. <laughs> Mr. Luca, I told you my concern is not yours, but my country. So as long as you serve our interests, you're welcome to stay here. But if you think I'm going to sacrifice our standing for you and your business, you are wrong, senor. If you're having problems with Lieutenant Torello, I suggest you do something about it yourself. But expect nothing from this presidential office. What do you think you are doing? What are you doing? It's easy. Electing a new president. I, I don't understand, Luca. Figure it out, Esteban. You're the new president. What? And your first order of business is arrest Torello and his men for the murder of Maria Flores. Tonight on Crime Story. Todo está en calma. Aunque el presidente Torres ha sido asesinado por la guerrilla, nuestro nuevo presidente tiene todo bajo control. Que no haya pánico. Todo está bien. Por favor, no tengan miedo, compatriotas. Todo está en calma. Aunque el presidente Torres ha sido asesinado por la guerrilla, nuestro nuevo presidente tiene todo bajo control. Que no haya pánico. What the hell is going on here? Some kind of holiday. Yeah, it's all crowds day. What are they saying, Joey? Uh, he's asking everybody to keep calm. He's saying that President Torres has been killed by guerrillas. And that Esteban is taking his place. Oh, great. What do you think, Mike? I think we get the hell out of here. Embassy? Yeah, right away. Let's go.
going on? Por favor. We're looking for five North Americanos for the murder of Maria Flores. Oh. Well, how can we help you? Show me identification. Oh, yeah, sure. It's in the car. It's in the car. It's in the car. Identification. No! Senor Luca. They're they got... idiots! Look, you got one job and one job only, Esteban. You get Torello, you get him, you lock him up, and you give me the key. I understand, Ray. I hope so, Manuel. Look, I want the city sealed off. No one gets out of here, no one. I want you to make the city so tight it squeaks. It's all being taken care of, Ray. Don't worry. You will have your Torello in no time. Perhaps if the president had come to the security police instead of the army. Perhaps if the colonel had told me which put as bed he was leaping in, he would have been contacted. Was it that brother Zella? You know the one that could do the tricks Shut with up, the town? Shut up, Trust me, Ray. We will take care of this man. You have my assurances. I hope so, Manuel. Otherwise, you're going to have the shortest presidency in the history of Latin America. You must excuse me. The American ambassador is waiting for me at the palace. Yeah, get out of here. You're a fool, Esteban. You should have put me in charge of getting to Reno. And you should have kept your mouth shut. Are you so afraid, Ray Luca? Yes. never left Danny. Mike, we had no choice. We couldn't get to him. We would all have been killed. Get Danny back, Mike. I'll get him back. You guys get out of this filthy country before it's too damn late. <sighs> yeah, right. Now, where do you figure he is? Wherever Luca wants him. If Esteban is running the country, that means that Luca owns it outright, and they, they buried Danny in some deep, dark hole someplace. Right, a hole every cop in the country is going to be after us. So, how do we get Danny back? Well, Morgan should be able to help us find out where he is. You're a fugitive, Torello. The police are looking all over for you. Two detachments are stationed outside the embassy. Yeah, they got the hotel covered, too. Now, where's Krychek? You have to flee the country now. We're not going anywhere without Krychek. I have bad news. He's in Valero prison. <laughs> What's the matter, homeboy? You hit like a girl. <laughs> Ooh. 
Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. It's very simple. Very easy. Just put your signature over here, and you're a free man. Let me see. Why don't you make it easy on yourself and sign it? That's all it is, is a confession. It just tells the truth. Danny, sign this and you can walk out of here a free man. You don't sign it, you ain't never gonna see daylight. You don't know what these guys are gonna do to you. Beat it, Aaron, boy. built that didn't want anyone getting out. We're gonna have to have an invitation to get in there, Mike. Valero Prison, this is bad, my friend. This is very bad. You know, they have a saying, Valero, the dead are the lucky ones. <laughs> we know that, baby. The question is, how do we get them out? Oh, a few minor problems, 30-foot walls, guards with automatic weapons, the place is Fort Knox. Well, no place is impregnable. If there's a way in, there's a way out. There is this man. His name is Messina. He's a drug producer and exporter. A very bad man. But he escaped from Valero three times. Where do we find him? It's difficult. Messina's a hunted man. He refused to pay the tax on drugs to Santos and the policia. I love it. The principal drug dealer. But a dangerous one, huh? Where do we find him? I can help you. Where is everybody? Probably at home, watching the jungle grow. Or maybe they're all with Messina watching us. Messina, Senor Messina. Yo no te entiendo, cuate. Ah, uh, maybe you can friend it. We're looking for Messina, Senor Messina. We heard that he lives around here. Uh, my name is Torello. You tell Senor Messina that we have a message for him, very important, muy importante, and that he can get a hold of me through Sonia. Mucho gusto. I don't understand what's so important about this guy, Sarmiento. All I want him to do is help me find Torello. Why can't you handle it? Comandante Sarmiento is the head of the military down here, Ray. So what? What do I care about a bunch of soldiers? Uh -huh. Look, it's a very touchy situation down here. There's a lot more at stake here than finding Mike Torello. Yeah? Like what? Like the military is very concerned with the political instability down here. For God's sakes, the 
president was just assassinated. We want these people on our side. They could take over the government tomorrow. Hey, Senor Luca, in case you haven't noticed, military coups are a way of life down here. Okay, okay, I get the point. Senor Presidente, welcome. Senor Luca, Senor Abrams. Senor. Allow me to present Comandante Sarmiento. Comandante, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is my attorney, David Abrams. Comandante. Paulie, I'm sure you've already met. The Comandante is coordinating the search for the assistance of President Torres. President Torres was a great man. His death is a national tragedy. I hope you find his killer soon. I'm sure I will. Gentlemen, shall we sit down? Comandante! Comandante, we understand that you're concerned about the turmoil in this country. I am concerned about many things, Mr. Abrams. Unstable economy, unemployment, inflation, telephones that do not work, electricity that is totally unreliable, now that President Torres has been murdered, I am concerned about whether the current government can take care of these problems. The government is in control. I promise you that. Perhaps. But I'm also concerned about foreign interference in our national affairs. In short, I am concerned about the future of my country. That's what I'm concerned about. It's good to see that there are men in positions of power who care. I am also concerned about foreign interference in your national affairs. Really? Mr. Luke is referring to the five Americans who murdered Maria Flores. Yes, that's tragic. I thought perhaps the military could help uh, locate them. Surely that's a matter for the police. Unfortunately, Colonel Santos' men have been unsuccessful so far. These men should be caught and punished. That is true, Mr. Luke. But this is not a problem for the military. However, I will consider the matter. Excuse me, Mr. Harris. Hey, boss. How come I can't have a uniform like that? Well, why don't you call Omar the tent maker? Maybe he'll fit you for one. That guy's gonna be trouble. Hey, don't worry about him. I can handle him, David. Oh. You kidding me? This whole country's up for sale. <laughs> Mike. Buenas noches, señores. What do you want? You left a message you were looking for me. My name is Cristobal Messina. I heard that you escaped from Valero Prison three times. Is that true? Perhaps. We got a friend in there. We want to bust him out. And why should I help you? because we'll get rid of Ray Luca for you. And what makes you think that I need you to help me get rid of Ray Luca? Luca's already killed most of your competition. It's only a matter of time before he squashes you. You help us, we'll get rid of him. I don't need you to help me that big, Luca. I can get rid of him in my own time, in my own way. But perhaps there is something else you can help me with. What's that? Well, you see, I have this pendejo for him. For some strange reason, unknown to me, my sister is in love with this pathetic excuse for a human being. And what does he do? He gets caught trying to smuggle drugs into the United States of America. Now he spends time rotting in one of your federal prisons where he belongs. And my sister, she's driving me crazy. <laughs> well, maybe we can make a deal. Maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs>
You be kidding me. Not gonna get this guy's brother-in-law out of prison. This machine is a notorious drug smuggler, for God's sake. I don't care what he is. We're making a deal. How do you know you can even trust him? I don't have any choice. Well, I do. Get on the phone, call Hallahan in Washington, and tell him to cut the papers to get Messina's brother-in-law out of jail. I do not approve of making deals with criminals. Come on, Ambassador. You do it every day, except you call them elected government officials and they live in the palace. Now make the call with you. Don't give me orders, Torello. Either you get on the phone and call Washington, or you get ready to make an appearance before St. Peter. Now, I'm leaving this country with my friend, or I'm leaving in a pine box. Either way, I don't give a damn what happens to you. I'll make the call. The police have searched the city, from the beaches to the jungle. Torello and his men are nowhere to be found. In my opinion, they have left the city. They haven't, but don't worry about it. I don't understand. You don't seem to understand a lot of things, do you, Esteban? It's very simple. We have something that Torello wants. It's called Danny Krychek. I know Michael Torello, and he's not about to let his best friend rot in prison. Wherever he is, he's planning a way to get him out. We don't have to find Torello. All we have to do is wait. He'll find out what shape his pal is in, and he'll come running. I understand. Good. It's your move. to believe you have arranged for this deal, Torello? Your brother-in-law would be free tomorrow. I gave you my word, didn't I? Ah, yes, your word. <laughs> I'm supposed to trust the word of a foreign cop. <laughs> and I'm supposed to trust the word of a low-life drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Life is strange, it's not. You know what I think, Torello? I think that God is great because I think that God enjoys a good joke. Well, then we should be able to give him a few laughs, huh, Messina? <laughs> Too bad you're a federale, Torello. You would make a terrific bandido. <laughs> That's a thin line, Messina, a very thin line. <laughs> Debieron haberme avisado que iban a hacer una inspección. Mis hombres no están preparados. Los hombres siempre tienen que estar preparados, comandante. No fear, amigo. This is my cousin, Manuel Gabriel Diaz. Major Manuel Gabriel Diaz. He works for Coronel Santos. At least, that's what Coronel Santos thinks. This is the main entrance to Valero Prison. This is the main courtyard. And this is the warden's office. This is where your friends be. And that is not good, my friends. Why? This is a security wing. It will be very hard to get him out. Hard, but not impossible. Now, what about the laundry truck? My friend, why would anybody want to search a truck going into Valero Prison? Are you certain about that drain tunnel that runs underneath the prison? Of course. I escaped through it once myself. <laughs> now they have plugged it up with concrete under the prison and put a metal grate over the entrance. All right, does everybody know what to do? Yeah. We set up the equipment tonight. Tomorrow night, we go in and get Danny. This is a no-mistake job. We're off by a few seconds. Krychek is a dead man. I'm going to need some explosives and uh, one other thing. Wait a minute, Torello. Are you certain you're telling me the truth? Is my stupid brother-in-law being released from your federal prison? I gave you my word. OK. What is this one more thing? A bazooka. What do you think? Well, this part's a snap. But what's beyond? Thank you.
you for coming, Commandante. It's good to see you again, Mr. Lucan. I was thinking about our meeting the other night. You impressed me. I think we have a lot in common. What way? Well, we're both practical men. Both understand the realities of life. I mean, there's really very little difference between being uh, a good businessman and a commandante. We both understand there's only one thing that makes the world go around. Money. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Mr. Luca. Foreigners often come to our country, offering us aid and friendship in a variety of forms. All designed to help us. But something strange happens. The foreigners who create the programs turn them into a one-way street for their own benefit, leaving nothing to us. Commandante, let me assure you, that's not what I'm about. I believe in sharing the wealth, especially with my friends. I have many friends in many parts of the world who can testify to my uh, generosity. I'm glad to hear that. Drink, Commandante. Thank you. I think we have another thing in common. What is that? We both wonder if President Esteban is the right man for the job. I thought he had your support. This country needs a strong leader, a man with political savvy, a man who's respected by the people, and a man who can control the military. Do you have such a man in mind? I just wanted you to know, Commandante, should things ever change politically, you have my full support. I remember that. Perhaps we can talk in more detail over dinner. By the way, have you found the Americans who murdered Maria Flores? Not yet, but it's being taken care of. Commandante? Your friend, his execution has been ordered. When? Midnight tonight. Now, wait a second. You said these guys got executed at dawn. They changed their minds. Well, that means we got to get Danny out of there before midnight. What do you think, Walter? Let's go. <laughs> and Torello has planned our arrest to get us into the prison. This information, Senor Luca, I expect you to keep your word. I want no more interference in my business dealings from you. None. Messina, if I wasn't a man of my word, you wouldn't walk out of here alive. Tonight, Terrell is going to get a surprise party he'll never forget. Surprise parties. <laughs> <laughs> Buena suerte, señores. Are you sure you can trust him? Maybe. If not, 
We'll kill him when he comes out of the drain tunnel with Torello. Why wait? My men can move in and take them. No. I want Torello and his men killed, bringing Krychek out of the tunnel. This way, there's no problems with the U.S. government. That's the plan. That's the way it happens. the drain with concrete. shouldn't be here. This is all a big mistake. I'm an American businessman. I'm not a drug dealer. This is a big mistake. I don't even know this guy. Uh, I'm an American businessman, and this is all a very big mistake. Oh, really? Yeah, really. I don't even know this guy. Welcome to hell, senor. You're an American? Párate.
things over there. Thanks. Good luck. Gracias. Suerte, Cristóbal. No prisoners. They already been told. I hope so. Was nothing.
You've just shot your own men. <laughs> Amigo, we sure fall look, uh, didn't we? <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you, my friend. <laughs> Torello. <laughs> Put my brother-in-law back in prison. <laughs> Put down your guns. Put your hands up. Very slowly. Esteban! Come in, Mr. Luca. Where's Esteban? Under arrest. Why? The Constitution has been temporarily suspended, and a state of emergency has been declared by the military. So, you made your move. Congratulations, Mr. President. I am in control of the government only until new elections can be held. Of course. Press the bun. Just didn't have what it takes. In the meantime, we have a problem. Torello and his men are still running around free. I want them caught tonight. And I don't care if you have to mobilize the whole damn country. Is that clear? Not quite. What do you mean, not quite? Torello and his people are not a problem. Unlike Esteban, I'm not your puppet. And as of this moment, I'm in charge here. And you, Mr. Luque, you, you are nobody. Is that clear? Next week on Crime Story. That damn Torello. We would have delivered if he hadn't interfered with us. Every time I turned around, he was in my face. How'd we do? An estimated street value of at least 60 bazillion dollars. What are you saying? I'm the one that said move the stuff as soon as it was harvested. But no, you, you had a sit on it. Luca must be going crazy by now. The decision's made. Ray. Torello dies. 